Welcome to Super Simple Sape. Today, I am going to make a Wonder Woman cake. The things you need are two round 8 inch cakes. I will put a link down below for the recipe on how to make this vanilla cake. White fondant, yellow fondant, red fondant, a rolling pin, a star cookie cutter, a knife, Wonder Woman logo. I will also put a link down below for the logo of Wonder Woman. Blue frosting and red frosting. So let's start. First, let's frost the cake. Make sure you hold the tip of the bag so the frost doesn't come out on the other end. Now spread it just like spreading peanut butter on bread. Now put the second layer on top. And frost some more. We're using buttercream frosting instead of fondant for this cake. Then frost the side of the cake. Just gently turn your cake while frosting. This way you spread your frosting as evenly as possible. The cake is all frosted. Now we will put this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. While waiting, let's cut out our stars and our logo. Roll out your white fondant. I'm going to use this small star cookie cutter to cut the stars. You can buy this cookie cutter online. Once you cut out the star, just push it out. This cutter has a plunger to help push the fondant out. You don't need a lot of stars for this. Now after working on the stars, let's start working on our logo. Roll out your yellow fondant. You may also use a bigger rolling pin to make it easier to roll. The yellow fondant should be about 1 4th inch thick so it's easier to trace and cut the logo later. Put your cutout logo on your fondant and cut it out with a knife. Be very careful with the knife, kids. Let a grown-up do this part. The logo is nicely cut out. Next, I'm going to cut out a red circle. Always be careful with the knife. Then put the red circle fondant on top of the cake. Then you put the logo on top. Once you have the logo where you want it to be, you can brush it with water so it sticks and stays in place on top of the red fondant. Now it's time to put stars all around the cake. You can put it anywhere you want. Next, let's put some red trim around the cake. I practiced a little bit on the piece of paper. You squeeze, press down, then pull away. Squeeze, press down, then pull away. Practice this a few times before doing this on the cake. This also covers the smears created by the blue frosting. The cake is done! If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Please don't forget to hit the bell so you will know when our videos come out.